In this episode, we're continuing to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Firefly. This time, we'll be looking at a firearm that was carried by one serious bad guy. Take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. I don't care. In a previous episode, I discussed how it's very difficult to get a Mal Reynolds pistol replicated in metal. But if you think that's difficult, try getting Jane Cobb's pistol in metal. It makes getting one of Mal's look easy. My search started on the internet like so many do, and I was lucky because I found out that famed prop maker Richard Coyle had decided to tackle the Jane Cobb pistol. Now, Richard Coyle is famous for making Star Trek phasers and for making Blade Runner PDKs. This is the result of his efforts for the Jane Cobb pistol. It was a limited edition piece. It is true to form, metal, front to back, end to end, and it is as heavy as a boat anchor. Uh, it's easily far heavier than my Mal Reynolds Model 47A, and as you can tell, it has all of the details present. Like many of the firearms in Firefly, the Jane Cobb pistol is based off of a real-world historical firearm, in this case, the Civil War-era Lamatt revolver. Now, what I love about the Richard Coyle piece is that you can actually disassemble this pistol the same way that Jane Cobb did in Firefly when he would clean the gun at the dinner table. It comes apart. It has a central main screw that the uh, cylinder and the barrel come off of. Uh, you need an Allen wrench and a few other tools to get it apart. but it is, to my eye, completely accurate. Now, there are some forums that say that the Richard Coyle version is lacking in certain details. Maybe there's a, a beveled angle here or there that, that's, that's different. To my eye, it's, it's perfect. I, I can't see anything about this piece that would be uh, a fatal inaccuracy. One of the things I did notice is that the grips are painted. They're not wood you know, which is difficult to accomplish, I'm sure, in replicating this grip. Uh, if I wanted to, I could probably paint this a little more realistically, but for now, it suits my purposes just fine. And then the uh, lanyard swivel at the bottom, this is a keychain ring. It's not a solid piece of metal, which would have been a nice touch, but I can understand the difficulty going into making these, so I'm not complaining. Uh, there's a little bit of wiggle in the barrel, I'm sure it wasn't intended to be pulled in and out of a holster for photos at conventions, but given that's the trial that we put it through, it held up remarkably well, and it's in no danger of falling apart. I think one of the nicest touches to the Richard Coyle Jane Cobb pistol was the simple fact that he created fake bullets to go with it. The bullets really add a realistic touch to this prop, and if you want to, you can carry the prop with them loaded in the chamber, or you can take them out and use them as individual props and keep them on Jane's gun belt. Unlike the Mal pistol, which really only had two options if you were looking for a metal replica, the SID kit and the Model 47A, for anyone looking for a Jane Cobb pistol, you have another option. If you missed out on Richard Coyle's excellent replica and you're something of a machinist, you can try and make one yourself by picking up a Denix Civil War Lamatt replica now it's going to take a little work because you're going to have to machine off the lower shotgun barrel, remove this handle, remachine it, add, add the, the barrel uh, crenellations on the top, and do a few more things to it. So it's not going to be an easy task, but you'll have an all-metal replica when you're done. On the other hand, if you're not worried about the details and you just want to put something in the holster, this will do you in a pinch, and it looks pretty good. It's really a shame that QMX, the official licensee for Firefly and Serenity props, hasn't pushed more of the television versions of the weapons. Because frankly, the Serenity versions of a lot of these weapons are very uninteresting. Now in the future, I'd like to say I'd be reviewing more Firefly weapons, but unfortunately, they're not easy to come by, replicated or otherwise. So to anybody out there who's crossing their fingers, I won't be doing a review of Vera anytime soon. Do it look reasonable to you? Well, it can be deceiving. Not as deceiving as a low-down, dirty deceiver. <laughs> well said. Wasn't that well said, Zoe? Had a kind of poetry to it, sir. You want I should shoot him now, Marco?